Okay, so I guess let's try this one. Um, are the two solutions 0.9% uh, NaCl, or you could think of that as 0.15 molar NaCl, and 0.15 molar glucose isotonic. So that's the first question in this one. So we've got to figure out, are these two solutions isotonic? So the first thing you've got to do is calculate the osmolarity of these two solutions, okay? So um, since they're both given in molarity or molar units, uh, we could easily calculate the uh, osmolarity using those units, okay? So we have to remember that NaCl solid goes to Na plus Na plus Cl minus aqueous when put into water. Okay? So remember the osmolarity is the combined molarity of the products, or the combined molarity of the ions in solution, or what's dissolved in solution. So let's go ahead and figure out the osmolarity. So the osmolarity of the particles in this solution are, so we go 0 0.15 um, molar NaCl. And we say, well, in the products, there's two particles, right? So it's a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. But if you add them both up, it's two. Okay? So we're going to multiply this by uh, one molar NaCl to two molar particles. And that will give us the osmolarity. I'm going to cancel, cancel. So 0.15 times 2, 0 0.30 molar, or osmolar, we'll say. And part of it. So that's for the osmolarity of the NaCl solution. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's do the osmolarity for the glucose solution. Okay, so the glucose is also 1.5 molar. But whereas NaCl is an ionic compound, glucose is a covalent compound, mm -hmm. so it doesn't break into ions when uh, it's dissolved into water. Okay, so the equation for that would be glucose solid when put in water goes to glucose aqueous, and that's it, okay? So if you look here, you've got a one-to-one -one ratio of reactants to products, okay? So if we look at this, we'll do, so we can think of these as particles, right? So we got one molar particles to one molar glucose, even though they're the same thing. You want to get familiar with this. So the molar glucose cancels out, and we get 0 0.15 osmolar. Okay, so that's really all the calculations you have to do for this equation. And now what you want to ask yourself is which one's more, or is one of them more concentrated than the other one, or are these two concentrations the same? Well, they're not the same because we got one that's 0.3 and the other one that's 0.15. So this one's more concentrated than this one. So are they isotonic? No, they're not isotonic. So if that's the case, 
case then, which one's hypertonic and which one's hypotonic? Hypertonic means more. Right? So this one's hypertonic. And this one's hypotonic. Because hypo means less. Okay? Does that make sense? Yep.